What the heck is there to do in Urbana Champagne? What do you do outside of campus? I visited and the town seems really small and boring. Is it normally like that? Okay, now this is a fair question. We are in the middle of nowhere. If you've ever visited campus before, you may be getting a little bit worried as you drive through cornfields after cornfields after cornfields. Once you get past all the cornfields, when you actually get to UAUC, it's a very lively, bustling college town. For just this little area that's Urbana-Champaign, there's hella people. Like, there's so many that sometimes it's hard to walk around, which is not really a good sign for COVID. So speaking of which, quick little announcement. My mom and I are starting a new mask business. I'm putting together some cute patterns and designs for face masks, and any orders that I get before the school year starts, I'll be delivering them here to campus but if you're not from Illinois or you're not going to UAUC then I also offer free shipping for orders over $15 so stay tuned for that make sure to like this video if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel if you're new here if you're interested in watching my other UAUC videos I have a playlist right here but for today's video I'm gonna be talking to you all about all the different things we like to do for fun around here and I feel like the easiest way for me to do that is just show you so let's go oh my god it's raining today guys so I have a confession I actually filmed this video yesterday but the audio was terrible since it is very rainy and gloomy right now you're gonna be seeing b-roll from a a very sunny hot 90 degree day and i will be talking in rainy weather hopefully it's not too weird hello this is kelly tang reporting live from the activities and recreation center i'm sorry i don't have a real microphone aside from just working out here you can go swimming in the pool they have a rock wall you can rent an equipment to play batman they also offer lots of different classes here i also think they have cooking classes i don't know did I just make that up? Arc or also Cersei is also where a lot of the dance teams practice. For dance teams such as 2XS or Imagination, they'll hold dance auditions at the beginning of every semester. From what I believe is like the first portion of the dance audition is like a workshop. So you can just learn the dance and you can just you can just go for fun. Or you can just go to give moral support to your friend who actually is auditioning. Throughout the year, I think they do similar things where they just do dance workshops and it's maybe like two bucks to go or something like that. Fundraiser for them, it's really fun for you. I personally would never go because I know that I would just fall on my face. And I don't say that as an exaggeration. One time during a dance audition, I literally fell on my face. <laughs> and I still got it. <laughs> I think he just felt bad for me. Okay, what am I talking about? Yeah, if you're into dancing but you don't want to join a dance team, there's still plenty of opportunities for you to dance for fun with your friends. It is now raining, so I'm going to stand under this tree. But over there is the stadium. That's where all the football games go on. So if you're into sports, tailgating, I'm not that into sports, as you can tell. But I strongly believe that you should go to at least one football game in your time here. I don't think we ever win, but it's still a fun event. You should go. You Hi everyone, this is Karen Smith. It's 68 degrees and there's a 30% chance that it's already raining. This is the Craner Center, so this is where they have theater shows like musicals and plays. You can get a discount on them with your iCard. I wish I went to more of these because I hear they're actually pretty high quality productions. And these stairs are really pretty, especially during sunset time. So while you're here, you may as well take some Instagram photos with your friends. All right, so this is the Canopy Club. This is where I like to go to raves. They also have different kinds of shows and concerts throughout the year too. Sometimes they have really big names here actually, but the venue, honestly, compared to any other venue that you'll ever go to, it's trash, but it doesn't really matter because it's a good time to go with your friends. I think it's December. That's when they hold Urban Night, which is like this big dance showcase. And they showcase all the dance teams here on campus, but also a bunch of teams like drive in or even fly in to perform. And it's really, really fun. There's an after set afterwards. So that's one of my favorite events during the year. So mark your calendars and reserve your tickets. Ah uh, yes, one of my personal favorites. You can go to the fourth floor of Granger Library and bother your engineering friends. And you don't have to feel bad about distracting them from their work because let's be honest, by sitting on the fourth floor, they were never planning on getting any done anyways. Hello, I am once again standing under a tree. This is the Atlanta Union. Obviously, this is like the main hub for everything U of I. They have lots of different shows here throughout the year. You know, David Dobrik came last year. They have drag shows. They also have karaoke night, like in the Courtyard Cafe by Starbucks. But if you're not comfortable with singing and you don't want to listen to strangers screaming, sometimes I have performers there during the day, like play coffee shop style. So people are playing guitar or piano and singing. It's so beautiful. Just try not to fall in love with them. In the basement, they have a rec room. So you can play bowling, arcade games, pool and you get a discount on all of those things with your iCard. And then of course in the basement, there's also all the restaurants. So my two favorites are Blaze Pizza and that Mediterranean place called Garbanzo. That's just so good. All right, so my absolute favorite thing to do on campus is to have picnics on the quad. So like, there's this window. Like the first three weeks of school and the last three weeks of school when the weather is just perfect, it's sunny and beautiful. And that's before everything just gets cold and rainy and snowy and gross. Everyone's out here with got picnic blankets, there's hammocks, um, they're playing frisbee, drinking our coffee, studying. It's a really, really good vibe. 
vibe and I don't know something about that just sitting on the call with my friends that's when I feel the most U of I yeah so definitely take advantage of that window because it will be gone before you know it so this is the observatory um, apparently they have a telescope in there where they open up to the public once a month for free so this is another thing about U of I that I found about way too late I never went and now I regret it so this is why I'm telling you now <laughs> take advantage of all the cool stuff that they had to offer around here so this is Cafe Paradiso. So if you like coffee, this is one of my favorite spots to go to just because it's really cute inside. And I think this is one of the only places that does like latte art. I suggest this place because it's good for studying, good for coffee dates. <laughs> I can't wait. What the fuck was that? So this is the ice arena. Speaking of dates, I think it's once a month. They give this insanely good discount where you can go skating here with your friend for just like a few bucks. So you can check out on their website for when those dates are, but this is also a great place to hang out with your friends. So for my fellow introverts out there, this is Scott Park. This is one of my favorite places to go get my alone time. I like to just go on the swings there and it's very peaceful. Like people like, you know, they barbecue out here, play basketball, have picnics in the grass. This is a good vibe. All right, so I don't really go off campus much, but when I do, one of the top spots I like to go to is the Japan house. So that's a really cool place to take photos or go for walks. And apparently you can sign up to do like Japanese tea ceremonies there, which is really cool. Another fun activity for groups or dates is a place called Skateland. So I've only been there once, but you can go roller skating there and they also have laser tag there. Something that I discovered recently was Kickapoo. So Kickapoo is this state park that's about 30 minute drive away. And last week I went kayaking, which was so much fun. And it only cost about $10. You can also go tubing, scuba diving, camping, fishing, biking, hiking. In terms of restaurants, if you'd like chicken and karaoke, then you really have to check out Star Karaoke. It's one of my favorite restaurants in Champagne and they've karaoke room. My favorite thing to get is obviously the fried chicken. Um, I like the jajamyeon and also the bulgogi. Oh my god. Is my, am I pronouncing this right? If there's any Koreans watching this, please don't cover me for my pronunciation. Oh god, I can't even pronounce English now. Cut. Okay, other restaurants. There's this place called Moki Sushi, which is, it's an all-you-can-eat sushi place, which is like very, very similar to the place in Chicago called Sushi Taku. You definitely have to try that place with a big group of friends. Make sure to save room for dessert at the end because they have this really delicious green tea ice cream that's just... Oh my god, speaking of ice cream. Oh my god, I'm going off so many tangents today. There's this really famous ice cream place called Jarling's that's slightly off campus. So it's also a really good place for dates and you can also take some pretty aesthetic photos there too. Oh my god, I have to talk about Curtis Orchard. So Curtis Orchard is like the quintessential place that everybody goes in autumn. So if you're not from Illinois or if you haven't experienced fall in the Midwest, like the leaves are so beautiful, you're gonna love it. But basically Curtis Orchard, it's maybe like a 20 minute drive off campus and you can go apple picking, pumpkin picking. They have a store where they sell these really famous apple donuts or they have this apple cider and I really like the apple butter. I always try to go at least like once a year with my friends because it's just like a U of I tradition basically. Okay, I have some seasonal events to tell you about. First one is there is Champaign County Restaurant Week. So it happens in January and basically like the different restaurants around here, whoever participates, they have special menu items, special pricing, special deals. So it's like a good time for you to try out new restaurants on campus or in Champaign. There's also apparently a music festival in September called Pygmalion. I've never gone but i have heard many many things about it if you have the time i would definitely go check it out at least one of your four years here because to my understanding it's actually a pretty big deal and it seems like a fun time okay halloween so apparently there are lots of haunted houses around here or halloween stuff halloween activities events that you can go to i personally will never go because i know that if i step inside a haunted house i will be traumatized until january so since i've never gone i don't have any specific recommendations for you but just know that many exist if you're into that sort of thing if you're just looking for things to do in general a really good website that people like to go to is called shambana moms it's like a blog for moms i don't know it's just like a good resource so i will leave a link in the description for you to check out as well <sighs> But honestly though guys, just join clubs. You know how I showed you so many different places and things to do on campus, but I personally have not tried them? That's because everything else that comes with college was keeping me busy. I never really understood the question of like, what is it to do in terms of a place that you're going to live at? Because aren't the things you do kind of the same in all places? Like you eat, you drink boba, you go shopping, or you just fuck around with your friends. And now that you're in college, you have to add studying and classes on top of that. Honestly, if I look back to freshman year, the main thing that I did for fun was just go to my friend's dorms and bother them. Especially after doing Greek life, then every single day, I had at least one event or hangout or party to go to. Like, you're literally never gonna be bored in college. If you currently go to UAUC or you went to UAUC, please leave some of your suggestions in the comments too because I'm sure that I missed a lot of stuff. Like, there's actually so much to do here that I'm not even like aware of most of it, I'm sure. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like i would really appreciate it don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post videos every monday thursday and sometimes on saturday i don't know if you're gonna have to subscribe to find out thank you all so much for watching i love you so so much i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you on thursday i'm scared i want
wanted to vlog next to him because I thought it'd be cute, but I'm afraid he's gonna come alive and start talking too.